Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Bienvenidos, bienvenidas. How are you doing today? ¿Qué tal están? Good evening, Miss. Very good. Good evening. Thank you. Excellent. Good I'm happy because it's Friday. Are you happy? Yes. Yes, Very I'm happy too yes. because it's, it's Friday. Finally, Friday. And my favorite day of the week is Friday. Because I yeah. have all the weekend, right? <laughs> and then on Saturday, I'm like, oh, no, tomorrow is Sunday. And on Sunday, I'm like, oh, no, tomorrow is Monday. So I like Friday. Friday is my favorite day. What is your favorite day? Yes, Friday too. Friday too? Okay, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. What about the other ones? What is your favorite day, guys? Favorite day of the my, week. My favorite day in the week is Sunday. Sunday. You like Sunday. Okay. Yes. Perfect. What about Jenny's? What is your favorite day, Jenny's? My favorite day is Friday. Friday too. So today. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Thank you uh, to the ones that have the camera on. I will wait for the other, Marjorie, excellent. There we have Marjorie, we have Miguel. Excellent, excellent, that's good, that's good. Thank you very much for turning on your camera. So then we have Eric as well. Okay, so welcome to this class. That is the last class of this week. Um, I hope that you work on the platform. Creo que ya solventaron los errores que habían con algunas personas de la plataforma. But if they didn't, we're gonna see. Rafael Antonio. Hello, welcome to the class, bienvenido. Creo que no le había visto su cara hasta el momento. Creo que me parece que es, o oh, ya le había visto. Sí, no, no, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, bienvenido. Welcome to the class. Excellent, that's thank good. Thank you, teacher, thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ok, that's good. Conocerles, así sí. Pero en la calle si los veo, siempre háganme, teacher, soy no sé qué. Porque pues, a veces tengo 60 estudiantes en, en un mismo módulo y estoy como, ah. No sé, right? Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, so we're going to start uh, with the class we have today. We're going to go with demonstrative pronouns and with other topics. Also, I have a new tongue twister for you today. We have today the very bad, a bit of butter, but the butter, very bad was bitter, so very butter, better, butter, and it was better than the butter, very bad before. Yes, we are going to learn that. It's going to be easy. You remember mm -hmm. the ice cream, ice cream? That was easy. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be easy. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to do fine. Okay. So just before we start, I would like to start with the attendance. Let's see. Okay, so let me see. We're gonna start here. And today is Friday third, yeah. Alex Gerardo Peña Gonzalez. Present. Anida Mali Villalobos Coreas. Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Okay. Eric 
y Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present. Okay. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. No está José Alfredo todavía. José Osvaldo Valle Mancía. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Ya, yeah, otra vez se me confundieron pensando que era Saturday today. Um, María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, Miss. Excellent. Casi, teacher, ¿verdad? Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Present, Miss. Excellent. Marni Betsaita Hernández Flores. Miguel Ángel Romero Hernández. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Ramírez Navarrete. Martínez, teacher. Oh, sorry, Martínez. ¿Y yo qué dije? Ramírez. Oh, sorry. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Ok. Es que como iba a decir Ramiro y ya estaba viendo el otro nombre, dije Ram Ramírez. <ríe> sorry. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández Sanabria. Present. Excelente. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Sandra Yanira no está por ahí. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Ok. ¿Alguien más se conectó? ¿No que pase asistencia? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ok. So we're gonna see. José Valle dice que no se va a conectar. Porque. Está dando problemas, Tigo, ahora. De internet. ¿Alguien tiene Tigo? Eh, por Yo, zona. Tal vez sea por zona también. también. Pero no les está dando problemas. Sí, no, verdad. A mí sí. Se queda frisada la cámara y, y, y falla. Yo había escuchado que Tigo era de los mejores. Todos son iguales. <risa> <risa> yeah, yeah, I know. No hay excepción. Pero les voy a escribir un mensaje ahí para que... Bueno, ya quede ahí que yo les motive a conectarse. Bueno, let's go here and we're going to start with the class we have for today. So yesterday we were studying different topics and we were talking about the future plans, what we were going to do with the going to and things like that. But today we're going to change the topic. We're going to change the subject. Let me know when you see the screen, please. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, Miss. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna talk about demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are there to talk about objects or people. And we use four different types of demonstrative pronouns. The demonstrative pronouns talk about singular objects or plural objects and things that are close and things that are far. Okay, so here I have this. I'm gonna explain this. So when an object, le puedo explicar primero full English, luego si no entienden algo, lo voy a intentar explicar en Spanish, okay? Intentemos ahí ponerle full, full aquí la mente al English ahorita, okay? Bien, ahí voy. So when an object is close and is singular, we say, this is an apple, for example, and we use this. But when an object is singular, so just one, but it's far, so I cannot touch it, like this case, I cannot touch it, it's far, I use that. 
So that is an apple. So these ones here, we use them for plurals. When we have more than two objects, two or more objects, we use these. It's very similar in pronunciation to this, this, but this is like these. It has a little vibration there, these. And we use it with R, obviously, because it's plural, right? These are apples and they are closed. So look, I can touch them. They are close to me. But when I have two or more objects and they are far, okay? I cannot touch them because they are far. I use those. Those are apps. So again, this and that for singulars. These and those for plurals. These and these for objects that are close or near and that or those for objects that are far that I cannot touch. So did you understand or do I repeat it in Spanish? What is that? No. Yes, of course I can do it. Yes. Ya se van a dar cuenta que entendieron algunas cosas. So, repito. Estos son pronombres demostrativos. Los pronombres demostrativos son usados para hablar de objetos o personas. Básicamente significa esto o esta cuando algo, un objeto está cerca, ¿verdad? Esta es una manzana. Y that... También se utiliza para singular, pero cuando el objeto está lejos. I cannot touch it. No puedo tocarlo. Digo, that is an apple. Esa es una manzana. So, that significaría esa o eso, ¿verdad? O ese. This se utiliza para objetos plurales. Cuando están cerca, ¿ok? Y la pronunciación de esos dos, pongan mucha atención acá. Es similar, pero no es la misma. Este es un dis corto, seco, así, dis, como D y S, dis. Pero acá, en la pronunciación de este, vamos a decir dis, como una I un poquito más larga, no tampoco di, ¿verdad? No. Y una, una pequeña vibración como que esto fuera Z. Dis, dis, dis. Acá tenemos varias manzanas y están lejos. Entonces sería those, those. La traducción de these sería estas o estos. Y those sería esos, esas. ¿Ok? So this is an apple. Esta es una manzana. That is an apple. Esa es una manzana. These are apples. Estas son manzanas. Those are apples. Esas son manzanas. ¿Ok? So, singulars, plurals. Near, cerca. Far, lejos. ¿Se entiende mejor? Do we get it better? Yep. Excellent. Yes, Miss. Thank so, you, Miss. Yes, right now we're going to do a practice, okay? I want you to take a screenshot of this right here, this, you see, de esto acá. And according to the arrow, de acuerdo con la flecha, according to the arrow, we see close, far, far, close, close, you see? Cuando el arrow, arrow es flecha, cuando el arrow está small, pequeña, es que el, obje el objeto está cerca o los objetos y cuando está así long arrow es porque están lejos so, basados en cuan la cantidad de objetos que vemos vamos a elegir this, that, this or those ok for example, acá tengo singular singular and it's close y está cerca ¿cuál sería el 
demonstrative pronoun que debo utilizar? This. This. ¿Verdad? This is a computer game. ¿Ok? Y así van a resolver los nine exercises que tenemos acá. Pueden tomar un screenshot. You can take a screenshot para que podamos ir a trabajar en esto. So we can go and work in this exercise. Do you have questions so far? Questions? No questions? Okay. Si a veces no me quieren preguntar porque tal vez les da pena o algo. I don't know. Whatever. Eh, pueden siempre preguntarme en el chat, en privado, ¿ok? It's, oh. Teacher puede compartir la, la hoja que es de lo que, donde nos estaba explicando, el lista. Ok, yes, I can do that. Let me yeah. just wait a moment. Quiero volver. Quiero borrar esto. And we're going to go back. Ahí está. There you have it. Pueden tomarle una captura. Si alguien lo puede mandar al, al chat, sería mejor. That would be good. Thank you. Ok. So I'm going to make the groups in this moment. Wait a minute. Remember, tenemos que practicar en los breakout rooms. Son para eso. Teacher, excuse me, eh, solo nueve hay, se mira y son diez, ¿verdad? No, I think they are nine. Creo que son nueve. Yeah, son they are nueve. nine. Yes, they are ah, only gracias. nine. Yeah. Pensé que eran diez. Gracias. It's okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ahí lo tienen para que podamos participar.